So every Saturday, as you just learned, we shop local. For Black History Month, we are going to be focusing on black-owned businesses in our area. I think what people should understand about black-owned businesses is that if you see a black-owned business, it most likely was not easy at all for them to be in business. We don't get the same freedom or access that maybe other people get. So you know that we've worked hard like crazy. And every day we continue to work hard. It's definitely not easy. Not easy, but doable. Absolutely. Where did beer come from? Most people don't know that beer was originally start up in, in, in Africa. And women are the only brewers in, in Africa. That's why we decided to get, in, get involved into beer, to brew beer like my mother used to. So this is all thanks to mom. That's it. I grew up watching my mom make beer. That's what got me into beer. Right now, about 85% of their revenue comes from the tap room, folks coming in and enjoying the beer, 15% from distribution. But as more retailers find out about the beer, those numbers are likely to change. We're in all the Whole Foods in New York. We're also doing direct-to-consumer in 47 states, home delivery. So we want other people to be able to experience what the people in the Montclair area has been able to experience for the past five years. To me, beer have to always evolve. Beer have to constantly change. We Just like cooking in the kitchen. We usually have about 20 or a little over 20 beer styles available at a time. Throughout our five years, we've brewed, I think, about a hundred different beers. It's always incredible to watch somebody face lit up or ask me, what is that taste I'm getting in my mouth? For our Black History Month, we have two new beers that we're launching. The beer is Black History, which is tied to a national co collaboration and pays homage to the early origins of beer and women. The second is a Howe House beer, which is tied to the historic James Howe House in Montclair, the first house to be owned by African American. They're also committed to helping local artists. In the wintertime, they wheel out all of this stuff and set up an area for local musicians. In the summertime, they set up a stage and take the party outside. It's so important for people to support small business because we're what helps make the community what it is. This is what makes it unique. This is what makes it important for people. They love living where they live. See, we're all nodding our head because we all just listened to Denise. It's so important. Just want to point out, they also have trivia night, lots of music. We've linked their website to our website. And in addition to their two unique Black History Month beers, they have a whole bunch of other ones, like Maya from Maya Angelo. So uh, we're going to spend some more time with our friend Maya and Kelly here at Divine Plantery. And who knows who's going to walk in next? I think they just bought something. Uh, right now, though, Andrea, we'll send things back to you in the studio. All right. Really informative. Thank you very much, John.